this video, we're going to be reviewing the Filofax Norfolk Pocket Size Leather Planner. And we are going to specifically look at all the features of the Norfolk in pocket size, the pros and cons of owning and using this planner, as well as who this planner would best suit. So if you're looking to purchase a Filofax Norfolk in pocket size, but you're not sure if it's the right planner for you, this review will give you all the information you need to make an informed decision and hopefully find the perfect planner for you. I say it partly laughing because we all know is there such a thing as the perfect planner? I think there's a perfect for this life season planner and then when things shift and change you kind of need to switch up your planner but anyway that's not what this planner talk is about so let's get to the review grab your cuppa and let's get to it okay so we are going to start with a gratuitous unboxing moment but it's not really that gratuitous because when you order something and you're waiting for it to arrive part of the excitement is opening up the package and finally getting your hands on your goodies and this does not disappoint i do appreciate these sturdy boxes that come with the filofax leather planner covers if you're not ordering from their leather collection you probably won't get one of these gorgeous boxes but from their premium collection this is what you can expect and with the filofax norfolk range you get the gorgeous gray box with this pretty little polka dot print on there in the gold foil with the logo in the middle it's just super pretty and i really do appreciate these boxes for keeping my planner somewhere safe and protected when i am not using it now here's where i'm sorry filofax i feel like you're missing a moment because when you take the lid off, I've only ever experienced this. It's not even actual tissue paper, but this like synthetic wrap band thing around the planner. Now comparing it to my Moterm unboxing experience, you do get a dust bag with the Moterm. And although they're not quite on the, yeah, I mean, the Moterm planners are affordable premium leather planners and the Filofax are also affordable premium leather planners but they're maybe just a little bit of a notch up from Moterm. I'm sorry Moterm, I love you as well. I don't want to upset anybody but it is what it is. You're not getting a dust bag with the Filofax and I feel like this is where oh, I would just love to see tissue paper, maybe branded tissue paper, maybe a little Filofax sticker on the tissue paper just to take this up a level when you are ordering. Now, full disclosure, I did order this from Amazon UK Warehouse. I'm sorry, I spotted a bargain and I felt like it was a perfect opportunity to see if this planner was gonna be for me. And maybe, maybe it was wrapped in tissue paper. Maybe there was a little thank you card and other little um, packaging stuffers and inserts that came in here. But from my experience, I've never had that with a Filofax, whereas I have with a Moterm, so I can only go by what I've experienced. Sorry Filofax, this doesn't do it for me. But we're not here to judge it on its packaging, we're actually here to judge the planner itself. So let's get this thing, let's get this thing, let's get this beauty out of the box and actually have a proper look at it. Now one thing I do appreciate with the Filofax planners is that they do come with this acetate wrap around which helps to protect the planner. So that is very nice to have that there. Let's get it off and actually start having a look at this planner. Now, my first impression of actually getting this out of the box and actually getting my hands onto it is that she is thick. I mean, just have a look at that. That is a seriously thick looking planner. Just for comparison, I've got a Molden here. They have the same size rings. Believe it or not, when I took this out of the box, I thought, wow, that's gotta be like 30 mil size rings. If you compare it to my Moterm, which does have 30 mil millimeter rings in there, I'm like, oh, it's a 30 millimeter ring pocket planner. But no, this is a 25 millimeter ring planner it's the same size rings as in my personal molden which is also 25 millimeters but it is a lot thicker and it's thicker because it um it has the top wallet style pocket here that is adding that extra bulk so this is the first thing to know if like me you are a small bag kind of girl let me just grab my bag i mean yes 
technically it could fit but unfortunately due to the thickness it does not thick it's thick it does not fit so if you are a small bag kind of girl that's definitely one thing to keep in mind this although it is pocket size it is super thick for 25 millimeter rings that's thick but let's move on let's go now to the leather this is premium leather oh my goodness guys i had to do a little bit of research here this is full grain leather now if i compare it to my motorm which is top grain leather yes they are both pebbled leathers yes they've kind of been treated in a very similar sort of way to achieve this color but this feels absolutely gorgeous oh my goodness from the pictures online i thought it was going to be a little bit shiny a little bit plasticky like the motem although this is leather when i say plasticky i don't mean it to offend again i just mean the the way that the color's been achieved this does feel a bit plasticky but this is so soft it's almost velvety like a peach skin and i think that's probably thanks to the fact that it is a full grain leather this is the best quality part of the hide that you're going to get it is um yeah they're both from the top of the grain so they're without boring you about leather i i used it. leather was something that i worked with for a while and i had to learn so much about it but you have like split skin full grain top grain all of this kind of stuff and it all depends on where you're taking the leather from and how you're using it and if you're splitting the leather and then you're imprinting it or embossing it with the design to get this pebbly effect or whether it's the natural appearance of the leather like for example the veg tan collection from motem but anyway without waffling too much full grain leather is mwah, chef's kiss and this filofax norfolk collection this pocket size one that i've got my hands on i am just floored with how lush this feels especially when i compare it to my motem it just like i was impressed with this when i first got it i thought wow i'm so pleased because i was so worried that it wasn't going to be great but when it came and i slid it out of that dust bag and got it out of its wrapper and all of that stuff I was just like, wow, she's gorgeous. But this is another level. For me, it's another level, I'm sorry. Next up, let's have a look inside at the lining because, hold on, we need to take this off. This is another thing that I appreciate about the Filofax. I'm not so much of a fan of the lining in Motown. It has been known for me to be a little bit turning my nose up at it. Again, I'm sorry, but the thin nylon lining, it just doesn't do it for me. I understand that it's there to make sliding papers in and out a lot easier, that that makes total sense. But the Filofax lining, it's almost like a satin, uh, poly cotton twill style lining and it just feels like quality. And the fact that it's color coordinated, I really, really appreciate that. Now let's just do a light flat test before we go on to the internal configuration of this planner. Unfortunately, because of the wallet pocket at the top there, we are not quite able to achieve a complete lie flat vibe. But I mean, over time it may soften. I don't know, the, the leather inside may give a little bit more to allow us to achieve that lying flat that we all, we all just dream of the lie flat planner, don't we? But yeah, not quite there with the pocket planner. So that's another thing to think about. If you're looking for a pocket size planner and you absolutely, absolutely need it to lie flat, this is maybe not gonna be the option for you. And just for a comparison, this is my current pocket size planner. And no, it, this one isn't lying completely flat either at the moment, but you know, it can be it could be trained. It could be trained to do it. Whereas this I feel like is gonna require quite a lot of training so that's another thing to consider if that's important for you 
actually let's just do a quick comparison with the mold in here how does that line flat yeah again that's not brilliant but i suppose once you're working in your planner it's not going to be so much of an issue overall i'm really pleased with how this feels the leather like i said is gorgeous the coordinating zip colors and lining use it's just all lovely i mean yeah it's high quality as you would come to expect from a file effects so let's have a look at this internal setup we have got as i've pointed out the wallet style pocket at the top on the inside front cover we've got one vertical zip pocket for storing i don't know loose change spare key what have you i like that we've got the little leather flap there covering the zip that helps to protect it from causing any damage to your inserts and then we've got another vertical pocket a vertical slip pocket however i'm not a fan i have to admit just because it's quite awkward to get to i mean yes you can put things in there but because of these rings it's not the easiest and it is quite close to where the rings are as you can see there it's like you've barely even got an inch between that pocket and where the rings are on the inside back cover you've got four portrait i'm going to call i'm just making up naming conventions here i'm going to call these portrait card pockets because if you want to store something in here you are going to need to store it in portrait style and then you've got another vertical uh, slip pocket here at the back and again it's a little bit awkward to get to because of the rings they're very they are big and it is very close so i wouldn't see myself using it all that much you've also got the elasticated pen loop here at the back and i'm quite pleased with this addition because the molden my only other leather planner that i have i've got one in personal size and one in a5 size and the the pen loop is just always <sighs> It, it's just yeah we don't, we just don't bother using it it's that much of a sigh but the elasticated pen loops are a lot better because they can ac accommodate a lot more pens i'm not sure how i feel about a full elasticated pen loop but i do appreciate that you have got it covered with this little leather flap here now in terms of use and this is where i'm like mm, how practical is this pen loop because when i pop my pen in here I've got a jelly roll pen here, which let's just take a moment to look at how well this coordinates with this planner cover. And I am going to talk about the colours that this comes in in a moment. I'm going to do a little like looking on screen. This colour is actually, is it taupe or fawn? I always want to call it fawn, but it's not fawn. It is, it is taupe. And I would say looking at it, looking at it online on screen and looking at it in person again the pictures make it look shinier than it is it, the leather is a lot softer we're, we're moving on i'm sorry i'm going all over the place but just looking at the color here on screen it looks a bit lighter and maybe a bit warmer a bit creamier compared to in person where i would say this looks a lot more gray and it is a lot more of a soft finish to it a, a matte finish to it not a a shiny finish so back to the pen loop i can get my jelly roll pen in there quite nicely and it is the smallest pen i have in my collection it does fit but i mean it's it's not ideal because it is butting up onto the back of the inserts there and once you put maybe a page lifter in there once you really fill those um rings up with a few more inserts to be able to get your entire life in there um, it's not going to really leave you a lot of wiggle room especially bearing in mind that the filofax only has a single snap closure unlike the moterm which has a double snap snap closure it's it's just a little bit awkward there of course because these rings are quite large you could always figure out some kind of workaround of storing it down the rings if you're into that i know not everybody wants to do that to their rings or the other alternative is something with the strap i know moterm used to produce the strap pen loops 
maybe Filofax might think of doing such a thing in this case, I don't know. Or maybe if you're a bit crafty, you'd be able to make one. But at the moment, I'm thinking my best bet for being able to carry a pen with this planner and have it sit in there comfortably would be to do something involving the strap closure to pin or elastic or something the pen onto that so let's quickly talk about the colors of this planner it comes in currently six colors when it was launched we had the taupe the almond sage and lavender and these are all muted colors they're very reminiscent of the english country countryside english country countryside the english countryside inspired by norfolk which is absolutely gorgeous um yes i have been to see the seals at horsey gap is it horsey gap beach or horsey gap bay just phenomenal like you guys it's just it was a real precious moment i maybe i might even see if i can find it put some like b-roll in <laughs> of the the seals but anyway moving on these are muted colours. They did add two new colours, which is Current and Espresso. So we've got dark, dark burgundy red, and uh, it looks like black. I don't know if it's a brownish black, a greyish black, but it is a almost black colour. And it, they're very serious. I would describe the colour palette as quite a serious colour palette. It's not very girly. The, the lavender is a gorgeous, feminine colour but it's still very serious. I like these muted tones personally. I do like a lot of um, beiges and neutral colours so the taupe is just a gorgeous gorgeous colour. The other colour that I quite liked was the almond as well. I quite appreciate those sort of neutral colours. So it's more on the side of neutral, more on the side of serious, more on the side of muted. That's another thing to consider. What kind of colours are you into when it comes to your planner because you're going to be limited in terms of choice overall i do appreciate this top wallet style pocket here it is very handy however the downside is that you're not going to achieve that full lie flat effect that i know some people really appreciate and really want from their planner another thing to point out is that because these card pockets are at the back if you're more of a decorative style planner and you like to say put uh, journaling cards or some kind of decorative uh, card pinned paper clipped onto the pocket or even uh, paper clips with little charms on them or yeah anything that's pretty and decorative that you like to have when you open up your planner you're not going to see it because those card pockets are at the back um yes you could put something here you could have a magnetic planner charm here and maybe use that to have like a decorative little journaling card at the front but if you're using journaling cards calendar month cards or what have you they're going to be at the back of the planner just something to bear in mind now let's talk about the inserts that come with this planner because we've got this large capacity ring size, and these are, I've said at the start, 25 millimeter rings. This is the largest ring size capacity in the entire Filofax lineup that I could see on their UK website. So if you are looking for a pocket size planner that has a large capacity for the rings, the Norfolk is going to be your best bet. Everything else that I looked at online had either 15 millimeter rings or 19 millimeter rings, which just for comparison, these rings in the Louis Vuitton that I have here are actually, I think these were 15 when I measured them. So that just gives you a little bit of an idea. Yes, this planner is chunky, but it depends on what your situation is which is why we're talking about the inserts now, because these rings really come into their own if you are switching to a pocket size planner as your main event, like you're not going to use any other planner, you just want to be in pocket size. These large rings are going to allow you to really try and fit the world and his wife <laughs> into your planner, if that's your kind of thing. Now, the inserts that are included, 
first up we've got the acetate fly leaf here to protect the inserts you're getting a week on two pages in terms of the setup that comes with this planner and it is from i can't remember exactly what they call this style insert from filofax i want to say minimalist it's their minimalist collection you have the is it classic collection and then you have their standard collection i know there are three collections i can't remember what the names are but this collection it's on white paper with a gray print and it's kind of cleaner less fussy as um nice um sans serif font and it just feels very sort of to the point and unfussy and i think that's the whole vibe with this planner actually in terms of just having the one uh, zipped pocket here just having a few card pockets at the back keeping things very sleek and simple and paired back even to the colors of the planner so that is the vibe that we've got going on here now this is a multi-language insert so if you do choose to stick with these inserts you are getting it in i think it's five languages french english um italian spanish i can't remember i can't remember exactly but there are five different languages so let's talk about the setup on the first page we've got the this planner belongs to as well as the year that the inserts are for we come straight into a 2024 calendar as well as a 2025 calendar and then we've got these big plans insert and this is a year on two pages now it's quite a cute little idea but in terms of practicalities I'm not sure how practical this is there's actually a dot grid set up there for you to write and it is very small these are very very narrow columns I feel like this might have benefited from being a year spread over four pages perhaps because you're going to have to write really really tiny now in terms of the paperweight i want to say that this feels like it's probably 80 gsm paper especially because there is a little bit of shadowing through in terms of the print on the other side as well as the page underneath so just another thing to bear in mind if you are a little bit of a paper snob like i may or may not be and you appreciate a slightly thicker paper yeah you might be a little bit disappointed with this paper in the file of facts so after we've done the big plans pages we've got a to do's special dates goals and notes page that is for our first month with a gorgeous little hello january page here and there's a little dot grid design on the front so i guess you could make little notes on here if you wanted to We've got um, two pages of dot grid and then two pages of lined and then we come into the week on two pages spread and it's just very clean, simple. You've got plain boxes so if you're someone that appreciates having lines to write on you're not going to have that in this setup. Another thing to consider if you want to just stick with the inserts that come with the planner. You are going to get the national holidays and other observances for different countries, the um, month and days of the week in the different languages, the moon phases, bear in mind this is set to the G, uh, yeah, GMT, uh, London, I think it said London, Lisbon, moon phase time. So if it is important to you when the moon phases and cycles are, just bear in mind of the location at which these moon phases have been set. Now I bought this in the UK, so if you buy it in a different country, it may vary, but I can't guarantee that. I'm just speaking of the planner that I have in my hands right now. Now in this setup, you do have the week number at the top right. You've got a calendar month in the bottom right with the uh, week current week highlighted and then you've also got a teeny tiny little dot grid area oh so cute um yeah another thing i appreciate about these is the fact that you can separate the months so i could take this out when i'm done with january i could take it out or i could choose to just have say three or four or six months in my planner at a time to save on too much bulk but then you'd have to consider having some kind of um, future planning insert where you can log all of your appointments and important dates and things like that so that you still had them to hand. 
Another little downside I can see actually before I move on is the fact that the to do's, special dates, goals and notes for February is actually on the back page of January, unless that is meant for January. Hold on, let's have a look at December. No, I don't think it is. No, this one is meant for February. So just another little thing to bear in mind. It is, you can separate the months, but you kind of have to bear in mind that the last page of the previous month is actually for the following month if that makes sense <laughs> now once you get to the end of december you do have two weeks of january from the follow for the following year so we've got the first week and the second week of oh, no no what am i saying well you kind of you've got yeah, you kind of got the first two weeks of January, sort of, give and take a couple of days. And then you come into some sheets of dot grid paper. Not many. You've got one, two, well, let's just count them as whole complete sheets. So one, two, hold on, it's so thin. Am I counting them right? One, two, three, four, five sheets well, four sheets of dot grid slash one that's dot grid and lined, and then one, two, three, four, five sheets of lined paper. And then you have six card dividers. These are tabbed dividers, but they are plain, so there's no numbers on them. They are in white with the gray Filofax logo by the hole punch. And then you've got some to-do inserts with the top half for to-dos and checklists, as well as notes on the sort of bottom third of the page there. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sheets of dot grid. And then I'm gonna assume that you've got probably 10 sheets of plain as well. So you have got a little stash of extra sheets. So I would say that the setup of this planner as it comes is probably geared more towards someone who wants to do week by week planning. You don't have a lot of note paper and to-dos in here. So if you were maybe thinking of using the to-dos for your daily tasks and errands, or maybe even time blocking, you'd probably want to stock up on some more of those. In terms of how this is initially set up with these inserts, I'm not sure that I would be keeping them in here. I'd keep the note paper because that's always handy, obviously, the dot grid and the plain and the lined paper. But like I said, you don't get a lot of it. I would definitely keep the dividers though because if I was gonna use the weekly inserts, I would probably keep the first half of the year in my planner and then use these little dividers to section up the months. Or I might even buy another set of these dividers because they are available on the website and sort of have the first section for my calendar set up and my scheduling and then the second half for or the other half the other lot the second lot of six dividers for different sections like to do's errands inbox um emergency contact health medical info all of that kind of stuff finally before we get to the end of the inserts we've got a little sheet that shows you what's included although it doesn't tell you exactly how many sheets of everything there is which would kind of be handy in my opinion so you didn't have to listen to me counting and then you've got a gray white on gray ruler for your page marker or today marker if you so choose and then a top opening envelope style pocket with that sort of frosted finish there and then we are at the back of the planner now overall I do really like this planner just from holding it in my hands it just feels so so good it you've just it feels like quality it feels like a quality planner the only thing is it is very very thick and that would be one thing to consider if you are going to be having this as your everyday catch-all carry-all kind of planner and you want to be able to sort of chuck it in any bag no matter how big or small this is maybe a little bit too chunky for that if it's an on-the-go planner where you just need to see notes and special 
dates, important dates, meetings and whatnot, this might be overkill in terms of thickness. But if you were thinking of having this as your main event planner and you wanted to be able to get everything in there, then this would be a really good choice. Like I said, this is the largest ring capacity for pocket size on the Filofax UK website at the moment. So you really are going to have a generous <laughs> amount of room in there for getting a lot of inserts in. However, if you are more of a decorative planner, you might be a little bit upset that your card pockets are at the back and you don't really have that opportunity to have something cute and sparkly going on at the front of your planner. Like I said, you could always clip something on here or use a um, magnet planner charm to get around that. And then the other thing I think about this planner is, again, the pen loop. Oh my gosh, what is it with these pen loops my word but like i said my solution if i was going to be switching to this planner would be to have something on the strap closure so let me know in the comments like what do you think have you got a filofax norfolk are you loving it have you got it in a pocket size or do you currently have a pocket size planner but the ring size isn't big enough and you think that this might be the one for you let's carry on the conversation in the comments below and I shall catch you next time planner friend bye for now